Okay, well, today's uh, devotion is from Ephesians chapter 6, verses 5 through 8. And we're going to be talking about servants and masters. Now, I'm going to be reading from the King James Version. And that's uh, a little different from what we usually do here because we usually use the English Standard Version. But I forgot to bring my Bible today, so I'm using my King James Version as backup. Okay, verse 5. Servants, be obedient to them that are your masters according to the flesh, with fear and trembling, and singleness of heart, as unto Christ, not with eye service, as men, men pleasers, but as servants of Christ, during, doing the will of God from the heart, with good will doing service, as to the Lord, and not to men, knowing that whatsoever good thing any man doeth, the same shall he receive of the Lord, whether he be bond or free. Well, the word servants, translated, actually should be reading as slaves. Now, but you will see at the end of these verses here that whether a person is a slave or a free man, these verses apply to them. Now, let's look at them in particular. Be obedient to them that are your masters according to flesh, with fear and trembling, in singleness of heart, as unto Christ. Now, here is the key to all these verses. Who is our master? The Lord is our master. Who has ordained the powers on earth? The Lord has. So when we do service to those who we've pledged our time in return for money and our labor as well as our skills and our muscles to provide the work and they are paying for us, or if in a more adverse situation, we've been captured and we've made, made slaves due to a war or something like that, as was the case back then. Uh, in fact, there are some estimates that there were 60 million slaves when the Roman Empire was in power. And we think that's quite a lot compared to today. And yet we do have slavery going on. It's hidden. There's human trafficking going on all the time. And there is still slavery in parts of the world. But if it had not been for Christianity, it'd probably be more extensive. Christianity and this message here tells us how we are to obey as slaves, as servants, uh, to our masters. And why is that? Because we serve the Lord. Our example to not be eye please or doing eye service or men pleasers, only working when the boss is looking, because the, our boss is looking at all the time. He is up there. He sees all. He hears all. He knows all. And he has placed each one of us. It may seem impossible, but he has in place each one of us in a position, whether it be a servant or a master, a slave or a ruler, and we are to serve obediently with singleness of heart unto Christ, doing goodwill. And by our example, because we are serving Christ, we will lead other men. We will show men and women Christ in flesh. I hope these words have been encouraging to you today. May we bless you and keep you in Jesus' name.